this morning. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, just this, this morning I woke up really excited just to, to be back. You know, it's been a couple of weeks, so, yeah. And, and did you feel like you were going to come in? Because you were, you were putting up some ambitious shots there. Man, I made some threes, you know, try something out. <laughs> you know, when you get rolling like that, um, you know, it's a, it's a different feeling. Come back with no rust, like just coming back, making shots like that. Was that a product of the practices before this game, or did you just feel good, like you said, like you said this morning? Yeah, it kind of felt good. I feel like I kind of spoke it into existence. Um, but, you know, I was came back early, I came back. Came back Sunday night, so you know I've been working all week, working all week, just you know trying to prepare to get get back into it. Um, I feel like teammates also made it easier. You know, teammates made it easy. Like Julius had a couple where I feel like he could have scored, and you know he kicked it to me. Um, you know, I had that one three in the corner where he he kicked it to me, and kind of that one really, really feel got me going in the game to, uh, today. Um, so you know just. Had a couple of those, and my teammates just made extra passes. AB hit me top of the key, and I was able to get downhill. Just, you know, guys kicking the head on the fast breaks. A lot of stuff, man. So definitely, you know, couldn't do it without them. Did you know you had your career high in the third quarter, and were you trying for 50 at all? I think they said it um, after a timeout. And then, of course, I was trying to get 50. I just, man, I got to make some free throws. It was hard. It was hard. Um, he's just a guy that he brings so much energy every day. He works works so hard all the time. Um, plays defense. He shoots the ball. He does. He does everything. He can switch. He does everything. You know, really out there. He's he's a great guy for our team. And um, see somebody, you know, just with that much of an impact, especially in his rookie year, go down like. You know, it was tough. Um, you know, hopefully it's not too bad, and, and hopefully he's back out on the court soon. Twenty-two free throws tonight. Obviously, getting to the basket and taking contact. Early in the year, though, when you guys were kind of getting used to each other, it, it didn't seem like you had you were that aggressive, and when you couldn't be that aggressive getting to the paint. Did something change over the course of the season that's allowed you to be more aggressive? I think I think I've been able to figure out one just you know adjusting to playing with new teammates, um, having three new guys in the starting lineup or two new guys and Mitch who's out you know so just having those guys coming into the starting lineup you know just trying to feel it out see how you know, everybody was playing and um, I kind of know my spots now. You know, I know my spots and just um, doing, trying to figure out how to score in other ways or how to be aggressive in other ways, getting rebounds, running the floor, post ups, you know, trying to just add little things uh, to my game. Would you like to score 46, but still, and, and it's still a loss? I mean, what, how does the feeling? It was like, it's like bittersweet. You know, it's bittersweet, especially when you have a night like that, you want to, of course, you want to get the win, which is the most important thing. And, um, you know, for us, we, we fought. We really battled. You know, they're number, number one, number two team in the East. We, we battled. You know, we, we started out strong. You know, they got us good in the second quarter. Third quarter, we came back. And then, you know, fourth quarter, I feel like, they're, I feel like they showed their maturity uh, more than we did in the fourth. Um, especially myself, I had just terrible turnovers. I don't know what I was doing. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to watch the film and uh, just figure out, you know, in those spots where to be effective. Um, and just, you know, I think I, I had some, some silly mistakes that I wish I could take back and just some, just some free throws that I wish I could take back. RJ, Jimmy Butler and Bam just spoke in the other room. Um, Jimmy said he thinks you're going to be the face of the X. And Bam was talking about, he said uh, he wants to be that guy. Um, he talked about the way he took over the game. I'm just curious to hear your reaction when, when opposing players who are all-star caliber guys like those guys. I'm curious to hear what, what your reaction is to hearing mm. guys of that caliber talk about you that way. 
No, it does. You know, it definitely means uh, definitely means a lot. You know, coming from especially guys like like those, and um, you know, also Jimmy, who's you know played for Tibbs and 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 um, Bam. I remember like I remember being at the, the Jordan Brand Classic with with Bam. He was he was older, so he was in the the bigger game, and I was in the international one. And uh, I just remember you know being around him and like Jason Tatum and De'Aaron Fox and all those guys and. So uh, it, it's uh, you know it's cool to hear that from someone like him. Julius was talking about how it feels like he's seen you just understand your game more. Do you feel like you're playing the best basketball of your career right now? Hundred um, percent. I feel like I, I've been trying to be you know more consistent. Uh, just. <clears throat> Trying to be aggressive, but without forcing. You know, really reading the defense, uh, reading what they're doing, um, matchups. You know, uh, but I think just having that open dialogue with coach and having just the dialogue with my teammates, and and I think my teammates, you know, trust me as well uh, to be in those positions to make those plays, whether it's scoring or passing, whatever it is. Right. Hey, sir.